Hi, it's Amy. It is Saturday. Yesterday I got some work done during our sun break. It has been raining most of today, but it has paused, so I thought I'd bring you along. Right now, I realize why I'm so stressed out about the rain is because I have leggy seedlings. And I don't know exactly how to harden them off when there's not actual sun. I mean, there's light out here, and they've been out on the porch for almost a week now, which is awesome. They're surviving, the wind is helping make them stronger, but I don't know exactly what to do with them. And that is what is stressing me out. Um, got a ladder down there, got to finish some painting that we started. Oops, watch out cat. Oh my goodness. One of these days, the cat is going to do me in. Um, but it's Saturday, so I thought I'd just bring you along as I go check out the donkeys. Um, look at the sky back there. It is a cloudy day and right now, there is a pause in the rain, so that's awesome. The Chickabockers are enjoying their scratch, at least cleaning up everything that is left. Um, and one of the little planes is flying overhead. I don't know if you can see that. I keep trying to show you things in the sky. Hello, the wind is bugging me. Um, I keep trying to show you things in the sky, and basically it looks like, oh yeah, there's a big bird there, is what I say. And, oh, it's so beautiful. And I go to look at the footage, and there's just cloud. So I think I'm probably pretty silly to try. Um, but I'm going to give the donkeys a little hay. They had their pedicures this morning, which means the farrier came out and took care of them because I am not, I don't know how to trim hooves. You see that chicken? She is the biggest goofball, I tell you what. Oh, hello, man. what are you doing up her? This is, can you see Mars? Mars, are you being naughty? This stray showed up this year, and she, oh, are you spraying? Okay, the cat that sprays, I need to clean up. Okay, hello cats, I need to clean up. Hi boys, what you doing babies? Oh, Tater, I see you, yes. We're just gonna give the boys some hay. We're just giving the boys some hay. There's Jack Jack. They really don't need that much hay. They're still deciding if they're just gonna eat outside in the spring. Don't wanna overfeed the donkeys. They're a little overfed um, because they're donkeys. Um, but here they come, they're trying to get, it gets really soggy out there. Our gutters, even though we clean them out, get <laughs> overflowing. Hi babies, what's that? Oh, hi cat cat. Um, Taz is not sure about this, so I'm gonna leave so he'll eat. Hi, you have food. What do you want, babies? You got your chow. Nibbles, oh, this chicken. Do you see this? No cat food for chickens. Scoot, no, no, don't come backwards. Scoot, baby. Scoot. By scoot, I mean get your butt out of the, yes. Oh my goodness. Hi, Mars. I know, you're gorgeous. Oh, you have a hairball, you need brushed. Whose idea was it to have long-haired barn cats? Come on, girl. I know, you don't know Mars as well. Come on. I wondered recently if the reason that chickens are sometimes called chooks is because that's the sound I always make when I'm trying to shoo them out of places. Like, Maybe, I don't know. Someone tell me if you know that. Anyway, chickens. Um, let's go see if they're eggs. They probably are, oh my gosh. Messes in the spring that need to be cleaned up after winter. We all have them. I can't be embarrassed. Don't even get me started on the weeds by the chicken coop. Um, we recently had to put a cement floor in here. And look at this cute, this to keep the wind from blowing this open. Let's see, can you see that now? Yeah. Nice and sturdy, makes it great. Um, nice ventilation. Let's see if we have any. Oh, look at the babies are already in here. Oh, I do have light here, hold on. We just got the light working, look. Girls, they're already getting tucked in. Let's see what we got here for eggs. Oh my goodness, sorry. Look, little rascals. Oh, and me without pockets. They're laying so much because it is spring and I keep forgetting. I'm used to grabbing two or three, maybe four all winter. Let's see, do I have five or how many today? To do, to do. 
six. I'm gonna have to come back because there's no way I'm gonna be able to. I know, I'm just standing here, baby. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get these all without breaking them. Huh. Um, the addition of light in here that happened this year was awesome. Don't look at the coop. I need to scoop the poop tomorrow. Hmm. I wanna try the deep bedding method, but that didn't work out this summer because we had to put this summer, this winter because we had, okay, I've got chicken, eggs, I've got camera. I need to hook the door. Hold on just a second. You may see a weird angle. Okay, I think that's my neck you're seeing. Here we go, let's try this. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know what you just saw, but sorry, I had to close the, the latch the coop because it's super windy. Um, the chickens are still adjusting to the time change and the long days. Most of the chickens like to get into bed around five, but Snap Crackle, Nibbles, um, Fluff Bottom, and Chase, those, they like to go gallivanting a little longer, eat some more bugs, which is okay. Who doesn't like to eat bugs? Not me so much. I feel like my lipstick is really dark, and mostly because I don't, I wear chapstick, but I was inside doing something else, and I was going somewhere, and then went back, and um, yeah. Okay, lipstick, wind, not a good combination. Yeah, I'm gonna go put the eggs away. Oh gosh. You can come with me. If I can open the door when I do this all. Let's see. Oh, okay. My nose, oh, the hair, oh, is tickling. This is painful. Oh my gosh, hold on. Awkward angle again. Let me just hold you close. Okay. Oh, that was killing my nose. I can open the door now. Just put a screen door in. Don't look at the mess on the porch or anywhere else because there's mess everywhere. Um, not super mess, but just like stuff I gotta take care of. Put away, organize. Hi, that's the side of my head again. Really good angle for you. I'm sorry. Probably gonna edit that part out because that's just awkward. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting things like, Coming in here, besides the towels I need to fold. The potting area is getting cleaned up. I've got a few things I want to start outside. The propagation station. The new babies, some getting leggy. My peppers, cucumbers, flowers, cantaloupe. So, I mean, things are growing. I'm just afraid that I'm going to end up oh, not doing well by all my seeds because I've never done the whole starting them inside before and then taking them outside and it's, mm, I'm worried. Hi, cat, get out of the way. Oh, cat, hold on. Here we go. Cat, hold on. You're in the way. Sorry, awkward angle again. Cat, cat, move. There you go, tater. Yes, I see you. All right. Um, just got a screen door put on last fall, which I'm excited about, but I need to get a one of those thingies that makes it not slam. Okay, cats trying to walk here. More potting stuff on the porch, as you can see, which again, don't look at the mess. <laughs> I feel like on a farm, a homestead, whatever this is that we're calling this, spring is just kind of a messy time, but like the best kind of mess time. Um, this is an area I haven't shown you. Well, unless you saw me cut down. Where'd it go? That big old grass. No, there, there we go. I'll get that. Um, this area has a ton of super, super pokey weeds that aren't thistle. They have, they're really painfully pokey, even with gloves on. They grow big and have yellow blossoms on them, but they're, they're not a dandelion because dandelions are smaller in the ground. Um, ideally, it would have been great to just tarp this whole area, leave it for a year, maybe two. <sighs> We're gonna have such, I don't even know if I'll use this one, which could like be super windy. And yeah. Um, but again, mama wants flowers. And there was already stuff planted here that I didn't have a place to transplant. So I've got these holes cut where I've planted things through. And bulbs are coming up, plants are coming, but the weeds are insane. So this, I moved strawberries here. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah. So I moved strawberries into this little. Um, box, which is about a foot and a half. 
and there's a cat, um, always. So I moved this up here from down below when I changed out the strawberry stuff. Um, and it has, oh look, look my first strawberry blossom. These have been around since I was a kid, brought them over from the parents' house um, when I first planted them. But the weeds are growing up through a foot and a half of dirt on top of them. And I did leave this box open to the dirt below because I figured I want my strawberries to get really established. I don't know if strawberry roots grow that deep, but if they do, I wanted them to have the space to grow that deep. But the weeds, the pokey scary weeds, are coming up through a foot and a half of dirt on top of them. So yeah, I keep pulling them, which is great. They're super easy to pull because they have to work really hard to get that tall. But are you kidding me? The weeds, ugh. Oh. Um, so yeah, this area is a total mess because we've been having a windstorm. Oh look! Something new is coming up. I don't even know what I planted there. But so I have these little openings and weeds are coming like this. See this weed? Yeah, like, you see this thing? It is serious. I have to be careful with this one because look at the plant growing up with it. Oh, awesome. I think that's a bulb. I don't think you need a tater. You're not helping. Ouch. Pain hurt. I need to get. Let's see if we can get it. Ugh. One thing about them having to grow into these spaces is that they. As you can see, I have an entourage, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is an area that I'm dealing with. I haven't really told you about it because it's not special. I just cut down my favorite grass here. I still need to cut down a couple of other grasses. They're not as important when they come back every year, even though I don't trim them, so. Um, but I thought I'd just bring you here because I'm out feeding the donkeys and then coming this way. Okay, this little plant. Is this not the cutest thing? I think it's called sedge or sludge or something and i have two along with a bunch of grasses and weeds <laughs> but look at them this plant i just love i want seven million more of them i just have to remember what they're called <laughs> look at how cute that plant is isn't that adorable yeah i just planted those last fall wasn't sure what they were gonna do oh, hello um but i got this tree this is a tricolored beach i got it on sale last fall for like 80 bucks and it's 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 tallish it goes way up to there you see um it's also really thin and i don't have it staked properly so i need to work on that i don't know if you can still see me because my low power button came on anyway this whole area i finally got a kneeling pad i ordered one it came so i will get down and dig the grasses out that's one of the reasons i don't like kneeling because i do it bending over like and I'm pretty flexible, but doing that for two or three hours gets painful. So I finally was inspired to get a kneeling pad so I can actually weed better. That's one of my goals for this spring, <sighs> along with getting the hair out of my face and everything planted in the garden. I'm gonna keep heading down the hill. Like I said, my battery is about to run out, so I don't know how much y'all get to come with me. Um, yeah, no, nothing else over there that's really interesting. So much to clean up in the spring. And I haven't super been organized with this kind of stuff because it's just been an interesting few years. Let's put it that way. And I'm not on my game. If I ever had a game, I'm not on my game. Um, but it's just so nice right now. The hill, Papa just got me some more cardboard so I'll finish this part up. I got the rest of this done yesterday. So this part of the hill is likely to be more most successful area. I've got to fix the hose, which is squishing some plants. My fig tree that I just planted, the baby one, which I think you can see right there. It lost its leaves when I brought it out, but it was inside all winter. I should have planted it last fall. I didn't, but it still looks like it has some green growing on it. It actually started a fig last winter in, I think, November that, of course, did nothing because there wasn't sun for it. But it got to about this big and then got squishy, and so I took it off. Um, this part of the hill, I think, is going to be the best part because that's cardboard and hay. I'm worried, of course, that the hay will sprout. It's possible. But 
the hay and the cardboard are going to feed the soil a lot more than the black plastic tarp. Now the black plastic tarp is working beautifully, except on the edges where of course the weeds grow out and under. So I'm trying to get everything covered and overlapped more um, just because. And like I said, my phone's gonna die in a second or two or seven. So who knows what this is, but this is just kind of Saturday. I know I don't have Saturday hair. I actually washed it today um, early instead of later. Usually I do Sunday nights because it takes a while for curly hair to dry. If you don't know this, you may not be interested in this, but it does. And I can never use a blow dryer. Otherwise my hair's like this. My hair's like that sometimes anyway, but I don't like to help it out. Um, let's see. There's the hill. There's my house. There's the hill. There's the parents' house. The garden is behind me, over here behind the shed. Um, little sheds. Um, so yeah, just kind of checking things out, getting the donkeys fed, coming down to the parents to have dinner, but I thought I'd bring it with me because I don't have a lot of garden work right now for this week because it's super rainy. Oh my gosh, my strawberry stump, which is no longer my strawberry. And now it says low battery again. Hold on, push that button. I don't know if it's even recording any of this once it says low battery, so we'll see. I may have nothing. Um, but look at these beauties. Like, isn't that color just gorgeous? I've got some hookahs in there. Are these pansies, violas, violets? I don't know exactly. I bought them super cheap in the fall, put them in for fall color, and they are here blooming, and it is likely that they're gonna stay. They may be perennial in my area, which is awesome, because then I don't have to replant this. Got some variegated iris that my aunt gave me, but I think the slugs are getting to it. And, oh, the, hi, the wind. The wind is getting crazy. The daffodils are almost done daffing. Lots of hyacinths up. And as you can see, a purr who needs brushing. Again, whose idea was it to have long-haired barn cats? The long hairs were left when we moved in, and also then, oh my gosh, Mars showed up, like I said. And they all need brushed, but they're slightly wild, even though they're super squishy, so I have to work up to brushing them. Just saying. I'm gonna head inside and have dinner with the folks. <laughs> I thought I'd just bring you with me on my walk down the hill, and I will see what else happens tomorrow. Just kind of one of those vlogs, I guess. I just wanted to give a quick update about the garden. Um, we have, uh-oh, you see this? That is a first sign that chickens have gotten into my raised beds. All right, this is serious chicken taming or something needs to happen. Uh, straw hail, straw hail, the hay bale raised and I so cannot talk. The hay bale end of the garden is looking great except I just noticed that one of the bags where I planted some seeds yesterday, one of the bags over the bales has blown off so I'll need to fix that at some point but right now I just wanted to come out because we have a quick break in the rain and be outside in the garden. I've been uh, working inside. It just makes me happy to look at at least the peas coming up. I still don't know what the mystery plant is. I kind of pulled it and I'm wondering if it's carrots that I planted last August that are coming up. Uh, it could be because I don't remember planting anything in that bed and I know I should have everything written down. Last year I wrote down everything I planted in every bed and every variety. This year I'm doing too many new things at once and I'm not doing all of them well which is something that I will fix eventually but right now I'm just going with it because it's where I am and if I worried about being perfect and getting everything done I would get nothing done so I just thought I'd bring you down here quick little vlog and check out what's going on with the garden I planted Yesterday I planted some peas, some beans, I planted my Chinese snake bean down in one of the hay bales. I don't know if that's going to be too big or eat it, um, eat up all the nutrients too quick. Sorry, wind, probably. You can't hear me. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I wanted to save these two trellises for melons because they're going to get a lot more sun than the shady end of the garden right down there. Um, and so I'm not sure exactly where to plant some of these new things that I've just gotten for this year for the first time 
so I'm still working that out. And there's not time. I should have had things in the ground two weeks ago before all the rain started, and then I wouldn't be in the stressful state that I am because my seedlings are not happy because they're waiting just a little too long to get into the ground. But I can't hard them off because there's no sun. I mean, there is light, and they've been out on my porch for a week with some of the light coming through, but it just, I don't know what to do exactly. I don't want them drowning in their pots while I harden them off. So that's just kind of what's going on down here. Uh, I'll be out in the garden hopefully a little bit more tomorrow. I don't think it's supposed to rain all day, so I should get out here. But I just want to bring you down, just finished dinner with the parents, and now I'm heading back upstairs to get some more work done inside. I need to pot up my pepper plants and start some of the melons because I, I don't know exactly when I should put the melons out, but I'm thinking not till May. So if I get them started before I put them out, I think that's a good thing. I don't know, never grown melons before, gonna give it a try. Hi chickens, what you doing? Are you a nibbles? Oh my goodness. Are you a big fat chicken? Are you a big fat chicken? Oh, look at the roosty boosties. Come on, girl, let's go get your snacks. It's time for your scratches. Oh, oh, Dapple, you big doodle bug. Hello, boys. Hi, Trouble. Hi, Aggie. Hi, Jojo. Yes. Uh huh. You're looking at me like you're waiting for something. That's what I thought. All right. I'll turn this off. Oh, look at you, Joe, you big wing flapper. Oh, Dazzle. Okay, here we go. Silly beasts. Goofy, why you always gotta be putting the moves on the ladies? It's like you're a rooster or something. 